So I work out now, two cans of food, anything from the pantry, these are 400 grams. I'm going to come down onto the mat. I'm going to have your feet flat down onto the mat about a shorter distance apart. Make sure I'm in a parallel position so the knees are tracking in line with the second and third toes and we're going to be holding on to both of our cans. We're going to come and roll all the way back down. So from sitting up nice and tall, I want you to tilt the pelvis, scoop the belly, pull the pubic bone towards the belly button, slowly lie all the way back down, extend the arms nice and long. Bring the elbows back in by the side of the waist, chin is slightly tucked, exhale as we roll all the way back out to extend the arms. So we're going to come in, roll back through your C-curve. Extend out nice and long, bring those elbows in, chin slightly tucked. Exhale, pull that navel down towards the spine, sit up nice and tall. Good, nice. Let's start to pick up that pace a little bit here. Good, always pulling that navel in towards the spine, sitting up nice and tall, rolling all the way back, extend long, and come up nice and tall. Good. Let's go for four more. Exhale on the way up. That's three. Two. And let's go for that last one. Sit up nice and tall. Beautiful work. We're going to come back into that seat curve. Tilt the pelvis, scoot the belly. We're going to go here. So you're pulling the pubic bone towards the belly button bring the dumbbells in and we're going to twist side to side so coming into those Russian twists exhale breath each time you twist chest is open pulling the navel in good think pubic bone towards the belly button ribs going down towards the hips last four three two last one so we're going to twist Going to extend that left arm long, come in, change over to the other side, punch out. Good. So side to side. Nice. Still pulling that navel in. Exhale to twist. Extend over to the other side. If you want a bit more of a challenge, lean further back. Just make sure that core stays nice and engaged. Good. Let's go for the last two. Two. And last one. Beautiful work. Get rid of one of those cans coming to life all the way down onto the mat. I'm going to pop the um, can into your right hand. I'm going to extend that right arm nice and long behind you. Left hand is going to come behind your head. Legs are going to come into a tabletop position. So the knees are directly on top of the hips. Your shins are parallel to the ceiling. From here, we're going to come into our ab curl, coming into our oblique twist. We're going to extend your right leg long. We're going to go over towards that left leg, and then we're going to come back through the center. Exhale to come up. Inhale to lie back down. Good. Always pulling that navel down towards the mat for me. Let's go for four. Last two. And last one. Come all the way in, quick change over, change to the other side. Right hand is behind your head, legs are in tabletop, that left arm is long. And you're going to extend your left leg long and you're gonna to reach over towards that right side. And come in. Let's go for four. You've got three. Last two. And last one. Good. Come all the way in. Quick little breather. Little rock side to side if you need a quick little release through that lower back. A little bit of a challenge here. We're going to bring our legs back into a tabletop position. We're actually going to rest the can on your shins here. So trying to balance them there, easier said than done. Good, both hands come behind your head. Your head is nice and heavy into the hands. 
Come back and lie down. Make sure that the elbows are wide, but not too wide where you're releasing through the rib cage. So those elbows just want to be slightly in, so the rib cage can stay down. Exhale to come up. Inhale to lower. Always pulling that navel down towards the mat, trying to keep that can of food as steady as possible. Let's go four, five. Good, last four. Gonna hold up in three. Good, you've got two and one. Hold up here for me, grab that can. We're gonna go into alternating bicycle here. So we're going to extend, gonna thread that can of food under and swap over to the other side. Keep the chest lifted, keep pulling the navel down, extend long. Good, nice work. Keep breathing for me, don't hold your breath here. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come all the way in, pop that can down, come over, come into your full plate position. So coming down onto your forearms, tuck those toes under, lower the hips and hold here. If this is too much for you, you can bring those knees down. You can always come up into your hands and come into that half plank position here. Good, we've just got a static hold. Pressing heavy into the forearms, lift up through the chest and the back of the neck. Chin is slightly tucked. Think about squeezing the inner thighs together, squeezing those glutes, slight tuck of the tailbone, pulling the belly in. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. You've got 4, 3, 2, and one. Come all the way in, just coming to that child's pose. Take a nice big inhale, breathe into the back of the rib cage and let it all go for a nice big exhale. Awesome work. Again, if you're wanting more of an ab workout here, do that all over again. Hopefully you're feeling a nice burn in those abs.